How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech. So you updated your iPhone to iOS 26, but you didn't like it. Maybe it's full of bugs and issues. Maybe your battery is draining so, so fast, or maybe you just didn't like the new design or anything else and you just want to get back. You want to downgrade your iPhone from iOS 26 to iOS 18, the latest stable version of iOS 18. Well, that's exactly what I'm going to teach you right now in this video, and this is the easiest and most convenient way to do it. Let's get started. So, as you can probably already tell, we will need a computer for this process, but don't worry because you can use a Mac, like I'm using, or a Windows PC. And the computer doesn't even have to be yours. You can actually get it from a family member, a friend, so everyone can do it, all right? On top of that, I wanna be very clear. This is mandatory. There's simply no way to downgrade your iPhone without a computer. You will always need a computer, regardless of the method or the process, all right? Now, I did say this is the easiest and most convenient way to do it, simply because we're actually gonna use Reiboot. And I say that, and you'll understand in a second, simply because we're just gonna need to get Reiboot and then it'll do everything for us automatically. It's incredible. So you can go ahead and go to this website. Of course, I'm going to have a direct link in the description, and then you can do a free download for Mac OS or for Windows, as you can see. Go ahead, download it as easy as that, and then it'll automatically start the process. If you're doing this on a Mac, it's going to be a .dmg file. If you're doing this on a Windows PC, it's going to be a .exe file. So go ahead, wait for the download to finish, install, it's your typical software installation process, and then open up Reiboot, and then that's all we need, really. Now, go ahead and get your cable, and I do recommend that you use an authentic, high-quality cable, all right? Then plug it into the computer, one end right here, and then the other end, you're gonna plug in to your iPhone running iOS 26. As you can see, it's charging, and maybe it's gonna ask if you wanna trust the computer. Go ahead and do trust, all right? And then I'm gonna leave my iPhone right here so you can see it, and then you're gonna see on Reiboot, like Daniel's iPhone 14 Pro, this is an iPhone 14 Pro, perfect, they're connected and talking to each other. So that's awesome. It's very important that throughout the process, you leave them connected and you leave your iPhone unlocked on the home screen, as you can see right here, just like mine, okay? So let's go ahead and move on. And what we want is exactly this, iOS upgrade or downgrade. What we want is downgrade, as you can see, iOS 26, perfect. Click on it. And then we have right here, upgrade and downgrade. Naturally, we wanna downgrade. We wanna go from 26 to iOS 18, as you can see. And this is very, very important. I need to make it very clear right now. When you go ahead and downgrade any version of iOS to a previous one, there will be data loss, meaning that you will lose all your data. In order to downgrade, we need to reset the iPhone. And again, this is the same for every single method, every single process, including if you want to do it via iTunes. You always have to reset, meaning that you will lose every single thing you have on this iPhone. It's going to be completely clear and blank we will wipe out the iPhone, okay? But of course, you don't have to worry about it because later we can recover from a backup. We can recover all of our data, files, apps, and everything like that from a backup, considering that you have backed up while you were in iOS 18, like I always recommend. So if you've backed up before, after we downgrade, we can go ahead and recover that backup so then you won't lose anything. But keep in mind, we will have to erase the iPhone. I can't make this clear enough, all right? So let's go ahead and click on downgrade, as you can see, and then as you can see, it's getting firmer version, please wait. So as you can see right here, it's gonna detect your phone, the current version, iOS 26, as you can see, and then it found the firmer version right here, which is ready to install. Naturally, you can go ahead and choose 
the available version at the moment. Currently, we have iOS 18.6 beta, as you can see right here, 18.6 beta. So if you wanna go to iOS 18 to the beta, you can go ahead and do it. Or if you wanna go ahead and go to the latest stable version of iOS 18, which in this case is 18.5, you can click on it, and then we're gonna go ahead and install 18.5, which is stable, all right? So let's go ahead here and then go ahead and download and then it'll start the downloading process. That's why I mentioned this is the easiest and most convenient way to do it because you don't have to go ahead and open up one or two or three different pages and websites and things like that and go ahead and fiddle with buttons and tutorials and pressing keys and so on. It's so easy. You just plug it in and then Reiboot will do everything for you. There's no knowledge required, no button pressing, anything like that. It's just so, so simple. Reiboot does the job for you. So let's wait. It's downloading, as you can see. It's gonna be faster than that. It's just because my internet speed is a little bit slow today, as you can tell. Now, I'm just gonna wait for my download to finish and then I'll be back. And so after a couple minutes, we're good to go. We have here downgrade. So let's go ahead and click on it. And then you're about to perform a cross version downgrade. It, it's just confirming what I have already explained to you. It will erase all your data and so on. All right, so let's go ahead and continue. And then it's gonna start the process, deep downloading. And then all you have to do is wait. Just let it do its thing. Let the iPhone connect it on the home screen. Don't touch it. Don't do anything. Don't do anything with the computer either just let it work. If you see something on the screen like allow accessory to connect or something like that, you can go ahead of course and allow as you can see and then iTunes may open up iTunes Finder. That's normal because the iPhone will enter recovery mode and that's completely normal, okay? So again, click on allow and you can close iTunes or Apple devices or whichever software you have on your computer because of course we're just gonna be using Reiboot. So just leave Reiboot do its thing. As you can see, it entered recovery mode on the iPhone screen and it has already went through that. And now it's showing the Apple logo right here and the loading bar, as you can see. Every single time, if it asks if you wanna allow connection, you can click on allow, all right? And then Apple logo and loading bar right here on the iPhone, loading bar, right here on Reboot, meaning everything is perfect as expected, just wait. And so after a couple minutes, you're gonna see downgrade is complete and it just finished while I was actually talking to you. So downgraded successfully. So then all you have to do is wait a little bit longer. The iPhone is still presenting the Apple logo and loading bar. So we're gonna wait patiently until it actually shows the hello screen. So even though it's saying successfully, and it is, just keep connected, all right? Leave it as it is until we see the hello screen and then I'm gonna show you. We still have loading bar and so on. We're done. We can actually go ahead and unplug the iPhone because it has finished. As you can see, you may see this screen right here, which by the way, already proves we are in iOS 18, all right? And it's showing the famous activation lock. So iPhone is locked to owner and that's completely normal. All we have to do is go ahead and type in our Apple ID password. So let's go ahead and swipe up. Let's go ahead and put English, choose the region and move on with the process, continue and then set up. And then in a few more steps, it's actually gonna ask us about the Apple ID, the Apple account information, just to prove that we are actually the owners, all right? Simply because it just downgraded. So there's a safety feature from Apple. So all you have to do really is type in the Apple account and password our own Apple account and password that's already signed into this phone. Okay, so no, nothing new. And then type it in and then we're good to go. I'm gonna show you that screen. So after connecting to Wi-Fi, it's just gonna show that screen. As you can see, iPhone locked to owner. And then that's my Apple ID. I'm just gonna type it in. And of course, type in the password. Just a second. So same Apple account, password. Let's tap on next, as you can see. 
and then just let the iPhone understand that we are we, right? Of course, this will only work if you are the owner of the iPhone. And then as you can see, it's done. So data and privacy, and then you're gonna set up your iPhone as you would normally, as if this phone was completely brand new out of the box. In the following steps, it's gonna ask you about your backup, of course, so you can go ahead and select if you have an iCloud backup or computer backup and recover all your information. And of course, as you can tell, we are in fact in iOS 18. So that's literally it. I'd like to thank you so much for watching this video. And of course, recommend re-iBoot to downgrade your iPhone from iOS 26 to iOS 18. The easiest and most convenient way I have to tell you, this was the fastest downgrade process I have ever done all my life. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you on the next video as usual guys. Bye bye.